Hello everyone. Um, I don't know if you're like me, don't we all like stories that have like a deeper meaning? There's something else to it. There's a depth that you can start to ponder and there's a life lesson in there. Well, I believe I have one to share this morning or afternoon whenever you're watching this. And um, it's called Salvation or Salvation. Now, what's that all about? Well, back in the 1950s, uh, we, I was part of a step family, a blended family. Had two, uh, two brothers and a sister and a stepdad and, and my mom. And we were in the car. Uh, my dad was a, a you know, former Navy man, loved the ocean and loved the boats and things like that. And so we were heading over the Fairhaven, New Bedford Bridge. And, uh, you know, he made a, a comment that really stood out. Usually he, he gandered over there at, at the boats because he just liked that. But this particular day, he said something that I, I, I never forgot. It was a, a real history lesson that stuck, you know, stuck inside me. And he said that, uh, you know, he wanted to throw his wallet away, uh, you know, run to the seashore there and dive in and swim to the nearest sailboat and take off uh, into the, you know, never, never, never land of, of happiness and just to you know, avoid all the, you know, things in, in life that were troubling and challenging. You know, it was a, it was a fantasy of his and, and not, you know, we weren't psychologically damaged by it because we knew that he, he really wouldn't do that. But um, so so that was uh, looking back, I, I, I label that salvation instead of salvation. Salvation is you, you put an I in the word salvation and, and you, you come up with a, your own way of saving yourself. Now, of course, we all know that if you, you take off in, in a sailboat, there's going to be a storm some, someplace. There's going to be rain, rain and, and wind and, and, and who knows what's going to happen. So it's, it's not real. And so we, we all have a way to try to fantasize getting away from, you know, all the troubles that we face in this world of ours. And so, you know, if we rely on a temporal or, a, or a, an immediate solution, you know, there's always stuff that comes. There's always wind and rain, no matter who you are. And so um, what I, I've learned since then is that there is such a thing as salvation. And salvation takes the eye out of the idea. And instead of it being a history memory like I have that I'm sharing with you now, you go to a his story, which is uh, the way to really get saved or have salvation. And that's to invite God into your heart and to have him as your navigator and captain of your ship instead of you. And will the wind and rain come? Absolutely. But to have, you know, God on your side and inside you is, is really the idea of salvation. So um, salvation or salvation, you know, that's that's the choice that we make, and, and, and many of us are choosing to, to uh, go this alone and, and, and always wonder and fantasize about how we can you know, read another book or how we can maybe drink another drink or smoke another a joint or, or, or do something that is, you know, takes us away from the reality of things. But the hope of our soul is the anchor of our soul, and, and that's God Almighty and to have a relationship with him so that we take this temporal story of just here on earth and here on the ocean to a, a grander, greater, eternal perspective. And so, um, you know, if, if, if you're in that situation right now where you want to throw your wallet away and dive into the water and swim to the nearest sailboat to take off, you know, you're not alone. Lots of folks are like that. But I'm, I'm suggesting to you that there's a, a greater meaning to this story and the, and the greater meaning is is to have meaning with the one who created you. So just if, if, if you're open to it, you just look up and say, Father in heaven, please forgive me of my sins. I know that I've, I've done some things that are not right, either on purpose or by accident. And I, we've got a family uh, heredity that is, you know, not good sometimes. And, and I, I apologize for that. Please make me right. I believe Jesus died for, my, for me personally. And he rose from the dead and he's alive. And I want that spirit inside me to help navigate me through the trials and tribulations and the storms that I'm going to face. I don't want to go alone. I'm, I'm tired of, of making up things and I, I want to be right with you. So uh, I just believe that Jesus rose from the dead. He's alive and I, I want him to be Lord and Savior of my life. And I just pray that in Jesus' name. So if you did that, you know, you, you throw out the idea of salvation in the I and um, you end up in salvation, which is a relationship with the one who created you, will troubles go away? No, they won't. But will you be alone? No, you won't. So, you know, that's that's the story. And uh, 
I thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day.